I'll be the one here with those mega sloth. Is this thing gonna raise from the grave soon? Its tail got bitten off. Yeah, the works is working on it slowly. Alright, stockpile zone in here then. Because this will eventually be the Fraser. This is going to be critical importance. Or, I guess, unnatural corpses? And animal corpses. Not if they're rotten, though. Also, foods. All of it. A sight stealer. A while a twisted creature has appeared out of thin air. Uh. Okay. Emaciated and misshapen humanoids. Their arms end in sharp, curled claws formed in bioferrite. Sight stealers are fragile, but use psychic influence to render themselves invisible until they're close to their victims, known to emit haunting screams as they gather on their terrible hunts. Ah. I see. Um, help? Where's Spy Hermit at? Oh my god, you're so far away, Spy Hermit. Okay, we need to, like, buddy system, then, if we were fighting invisible enemies. That'll work. Close enough. Get it! Get it! Kill it! I guess kite a little bit. Spy hermit. Uh, yeah, we need beds for that, huh? Might. Okay. Wasn't expecting an invisible enemy so soon. Understood. I'll put you in here for now, yeah? Medical. Rescue Cass. Ah, you did it! Uh, capture it? No rooms have minimum containment strength for a sight so it'll escape soon. Yeah, alright, then just, um... I guess just fire at it and you're only bruised, that's okay. I guess also, if you're capable of medical, you can probably self-tend. Okay, that's everyone. Excellent. Great. Okay. Let's get... the proximity detector up, eh? Alright! Just... Generally... Here it might be okay, actually. I think that'll be alright. So yeah, you're just- you're just bruised up. Cass got- Cass got kinda messed up. Cracked nose, scratched ear, a couple scratches in the torso, right leg scratched up. It's all... It's all pretty rough. We can research now the proximity detector, which we started with one. And we are working on it too. Okay, cool. Shambling, rotting corpse approaching, and human force reanimated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like the boar, but... Human this time. It's awful. The aurora's ending. Oh no. Whoa. Okay. Well, we have some crops up. I guess we can butcher that thing. Butcher everything within a decent radius, but don't don't go so crazy with it. Um All of it is your meat okay? Twisted meat? Pieces of twisted muscle and gristle bloated with tumorous growths. Bizarre shreds of flesh must have come from a horrific creature. It doesn't sound good to eat. Okay. You have, like, leather, though? Dread leather. We don't know anything about dread leather. Well, let's find out, then, I guess. Uh... 
Yeah, butcher creature, do forever, even the entities. I think unnatural humanoid, maybe too, but not slave, stranger, or colonist corpses. Just the random zombies. You go ahead and butcher them if they're nearby. Sure. It's like another source of dread leather, I guess. Um, right. Bedroom or something. Um, we're still working on... Right, we're not working on that. I don't even have a table up. Right. Research tables. Those exist. Um... Yeah, let's get a little research room off on the side here, I think. We'll go out of steel, too. Just a small little thing, nothing nuts. A wooden door. Can maybe go for concrete, but I'm gonna wait a little bit. I don't want to queue up too much crafting or construction for us. And then the holding spot as well will eventually be, I guess. I guess something similar. I suppose. <laughs> Some steel doors. <laughs> does, that, does, does that work? A lot of, a lot of wargs out there. I think there's I think there's more and more wargs every time I look at it. I don't know what to do with these skulls, but just in case we end up getting, like, literal zombies raising from the dead, they don't have a head, so... That's already that taken care of. Wooden fences should be pretty easy to do, I'd, I'd think. We're just doing wooden doors because they open and close quite quickly. So while it's not really like your traditional airlock type thing, it's it's fine enough. The butcher room is the airlock. It's gonna get a little cold in there, but mm. I think they'll deal with it. I think they'll deal with it. I think they'll be fine with it. They can get a little bit of lighting in. And some wall lamps. I like these wall lamps. These are new to me. That proximity detector needs to be installed. Um, by Hermit. Before you go way up there again, please deliver that. I think it needs battery? I would assume it needs battery. So that'll, that should wire over. And then granite blocks we have basically none of. I'm not sure where the ones that we do have came from. I think that was just like some deconstructed something or other. Ancient car, do you have do you have blocks? Okay. I think just a steel door is gonna be fine. Steel door, steel wall. That's okay. Animal flap. A doorway hung with a thick overlapping strips of fabric or leather. Allows animals to pass while insulating the temperature. Commonly used as barn doors to give penned animals a sheltered place to sleep. Oh. Alright. <laughs> TPG and Cass having a little chat here. <laughs> Talking about trouts, peas, cherry trees. Meteorite limestone. Right in the water. Splash. We get meteorites on a somewhat regular basis just to ensure there's always a bit of a supply of stone or mineral coming in. Maybe we get lucky and it's like silver or something. I'm gonna cancel that for now. Pull some steel down with you. I'd like you to do other stuff. That's enough steel, I think, for a bit. Three shambling corpses. Okay. Hi, guys. Yo, Waffles. Mm. Waffles, Grump, and Giggles. Okay. <laughs> yeah, very soon fading. 
So I wonder how strong they are, because Dwarf Fortress Undead were stupidly strong. Like, ridiculously strong. Not a, not a great thing to fight. Who's meant to be doing the cooking? Cass? Ah, I see. Cass, I need help cooking. You're like very wounded and just limping around. Your manipulation is 62%. Eesh. Can you, uh, can you rest until healed actually? This thing will stick around for a little bit longer. That's okay. It's just, I don't want your manipulation to be- This is a lot of food here, potentially, and if your manipulation's so low, that's gonna be... kinda bad news for us. Yeah, we don't have any wind right now. I see. Okay. So yeah, that needs to be connected to power 75 watts. Okay. Alright. Fine. Ooh, change color. Advanced lights to change light color? Change to dark light? Ooh, that looks nice. I like dark light. Do we have an opinion on dark light? No? Oh, that looks nice. It really fits the dark, gloomy aesthetic that we've got. That's cool. Get a little light in the research room, get that chair moved over. I think that was something that they enjoyed a lot, right? This is rotting in 18... Ah, uh, it's refrigerated now because it's so cold outside. Okay. Well, you ought to get that done. Uh, this next day, though, I think. Shambler dropped a shard of dark Arco technology. Can collect it and make use of it. Oh. Uh, a scavenged fragment of dark Arco technology? Originally created by a hyper-intelligent Arcotech mind, the shard is packed with technology beyond human comprehension, capable of manipulating psychic flows, inducing Arcotech influences, and more esoteric outcomes. Useless by itself, it can be built into devices that harness the power to produce exotic effects. Okay. It doesn't rot, so... I'll let it hang out. There's also some biofabric. So they don't really move very much, these guys. It's kind of handy for me, but I do have one of the events happening as a Shambler Assault. So eventually I think they are going to be coming for me. We, yeah, we still have food. Okay, good. Unroofed out. All right, I need to tell you to build a roof, don't I? All right. Build a roof area. That'll help out a lot. With the support beam there, that should be... Pretty okay. Go get your pistol, and then, uh, clean and butcher. When you wake up, obviously. Actually, you know what? Maybe just, like, get food. Clear prioritize work. I'll let you do you for a minute. Yeah, just climb over the fence. That's okay. Yeah, why use the doors? Yeah, thanks, guys. Real good. Alright, so now you're butchering the... Equip the pistol when you're done, please. So now it's only 0.13 per day? Whereas it was... Well, we cut it like in half. Alright, that's okay for now. Beggars requesting aid. A group of poor travelers are approaching looking for help. Travelers are begging for 44 silver. They want the silver so they can buy back a friend who was recently kidnapped. Okay. Select colonist right click on Evo and move on after a day. Not part of any faction. If you wish, you can choose to kill, arrest, sell, or harvest them without diplomatic consequences. Yeah, I don't think this thing feels 
damage, so you need to like actually kill it. And I don't, I don't think the wooden clubs adequate. Although, all right, you moved its manipulation down to just walking, it's crawling towards you. You're just walking away. <laughs> Job's done. You're gonna bleed out very quickly, friend. And who is the other one? Did they... did they die? Oh, you're here. Hi. Your friend's not doing so great. I'm probably gonna ignore you. Alright! Meat! And also a turkey to hunt. Because... May as well. So when we get the electric stove installed... Someday, one day, maybe. Probably should have put quite a lot more priority on the construction, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's just poor Cass, who's also doing the growing and all that. Because that also needs to be done. I kind of thought that'd be happening very quickly. It's alright. Figure it out. That on three. Now what are you doing? Cutting you're still sowing plants. Alright, you're almost done after that. Hey, are you Yo! Right on, thanks. That's nice of you. Well, no, that's cotton. Okay, never mind. Uh, maybe I did do that. I thought that was heel root and I didn't have the skill for it. And I thought they were starting to plant some heel root for me. That would have been very cool. Unfortunately, not the case. Can you work on the stove, please? Like, pretty please. I'm also going to do a bit of schedule for folks. Just a little bit of that. The usual thing. Bit of recreation in the morning and evening. You can all hang out and talk to each other. And we need, like, a recreation thing, didn't we? Like a horseshoe pen? They like those. I guess there works. And eventually we get the coolers in here for town control. Probably safer to do it back here. Probably, whoops, probably two of them, but, oh my gosh, buttons, but don't do it right now. Wait on that a minute, all right? TPG still needs their chair moved over. They still got to finish the wall. We got to get the light in there. Ow, come on. It's been three days, guys, and we don't have beds yet. This feels bad. <sighs> There's still some walls to tear down. Eesh. Good grief. The holding room thing is kind of also still slowly happening. Mm. All right. Well... Wild Boar Shamblers again. Yeah, too far away. Oh. Traveler's harmed. Yeah, I think he just bled out. Colonists with charitable beliefs will be unhappy. Don't think we have many of that. This dude is dead. This dude is dead and this guy's getting out. Don't blame you. You're also about to starve to death. Hmm. A marble meteor. Whoa. Got it. The tortoise was exploded. The crack in the shell killed it, though. Of course. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, cool. Marble. Nice. Happy to have that. Um, yeah, things are, things should be happening, generally. Like, Lair got to be getting some of this stuff done. Simple meals. Um, there's 
quite a few options here now. Do until we have like 20 simple meals using whatever that's nearby. Please and thanks. So we're butchering, we're cooking with an electric stove. Need to get the research still for the battery going. It's slowly happening. Growing is queued up. More crops are growing. A mix of rice and potatoes. It's a bit medium. Okay. So you're doing the cooking now, which means lairg. Yeah, you're, you're doing it. You're just kind of bad at it. A lot of just hauling materials around and getting it ready. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Another shambler. A familiar corner. Shambler boss! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, thankfully... Still kind of far away. Not terribly looking forward to all these shamblers, uh... Yikes. All these shamblers... Like, coming in mass. Or roam around. They seem... They seem pretty tough because they don't really, like, feel pain and fall over, you know? So... This is kind of... A nice generator. They don't move very far. It's a nice, just, shard generation, though, I guess. Whatever we use those for. It's mega sloth meals. Very good. Yeah, we're losing the meat otherwise. You may as well just cook forever. Really. I guess also unforbid these. I don't have the batteries yet, but soon hopefully with the light on over there might go a little bit quicker i could queue up beds right i got the wood for it i don't have a room for it yet but we could get a room for it we could even have the room like kind of up here do it also out of wood just get it done with kind of quick yeah or how about that? No plants have to die in the making of this. And then... Just beds. And then that is... That is it. That is all. Hopefully I don't have to have windows in case of vampires or something. Oh god. Flash storm. Oh yeah, look out for the... Uh, look out for that. <laughs> Poor buffalo. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. I think we'll be okay. There's not a whole lot of ways for the fire to get over to us. We got these sort of stony grounds to separate it. There you go. But you're working on researching down here? Does this give me this? 183. Mm. If no advanced project is active, advanced research contributes to basic project instead. Right. Can I have both basic and an advanced project active at the same time? If no project is active, advanced research contributes to a basic instead. Right. Uh, stop. Get that done. Inspired surgery? Spire him, it feels like cutting someone up. Okay. Ah, construction botched. Lair, please. Please, I need this. Oh, hey, got it. Cool. Oh, I need four bedrooms. Right. Uh, who is the ascetic? Spy Hermit's the ascetic. Okay. Uh, 
Wasn't there a way to assign? Oh, set owner. Boy, it's been a long time. Since since you are an aesthetic, you don't really need anything too wild. I guess you get a room just like everybody else, though. You just you just don't get like cool flooring one day, I guess. Maybe you're kind of okay with sleeping outside. The press of darkness disturbs sleep. Masochist in serious pain. Yeah! <laughs> also, Scourfoot and in serious pain, but that doesn't stack. Okay, that's fair enough. That, that's understandable. But yeah, we like being in a bit of pain, and we like having all the scars and stuff. It helps a lot, actually. It's a lot of blood. Whose blood is all this? Oh, Cortez. Right, the visitor guy. And they really blood all over my crops, huh? Outrageous. Do we still have components going on? Yes, 32 components. Good. Cass has begun to fixate on the Void and wishes to investigate it using the Void Provocation Ritual. Use the Void Provocation Ritual to discover and capture entities. Captured entities can be studied to complete anomaly research projects or connected to Bioferrite Harvester to generate Barrel Ferrite. Research Void Provocation, then place a Psychic Rituals bot to perform the ritual. Man, give me a minute, okay? Jeez. You're right. Yeah. Solar Flare. Ah, oh, she passed in about a day. No, my proximity detector. <laughs> oh, no. Man, what, what horrible timing that would be. Oh my god, you got these done? Jeez, okay, excellent. Set one to just like minus four. And the other one to like minus two. So they both work at the same time to get us down into freezing, but only one of them is really working to maintain it, so we sort of bypass the airlock system that way, you know? Otherwise, the door opens and the room warms up ever so slightly, and if you're balancing it at exactly zero or minus one, it might warm up, and things just eventually thaw out. Silver ore, hey. Alright. And that ain't too far away either. What is that? An advanced ruins tank? I want that! No. Oh. And... Oh, hey. Rice is done. Cool. Mm, since you did all the meat, we're going to set this back to just do until you have like 30. It's fine. That's okay. And the flare's ending. Hopefully the batteries get done soon so we can build them. And then that's that set up. Still waiting on the bedroom to be done. We can kind of work on a little bit of concrete flooring now, I think. Not that it helps too terribly much, or get rid of these wargs that are around. Since we're healthy and capable right now. What is... What, what, are, what are you doing? Oh, we're deconstructing this stuff now. Is it giving anything? Nope. Okay. Mm, forget about it. They're still kind of sort of within cover range, but... Mm. Clean up the dining room. Manhunter pack. Manhunting hares. Okay. That Saria stuff. Right. Kills them in just about five. Right, that was a thing that was... I forgot about that. It sort of ensures that eventually they will drop dead. So you don't have to hide inside forever and ever and ever. Really? That contains meat? Nice vegetarian? Hmm. That's fun. Oh, 
about that bedroom, Laird? <laughs> All right, how about... When Spy Hermit's done eating, we go to arms. Oops. Get ready for those hairs wherever they are. Oh. They're going for the shamblers, are they? Ah. Fine by me. How about the wargs then? Terrified. Oops. Die. Most of us are accurate. Melee it to death. Are you okay? Yeah, you're good. Small scratch, you can self tend. It's fine. Then there was a second one. Yeah, up here a decent bit. Just get him out of here. Eventually we can wall up a bit. Oh my god, you want to name this place? Why? Why would you want to name it? Len, Len, Lente Dorberan Territory Treaty. The Lente Dorberan Treaty. Bongayu. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Whatever, man. Just whatever. Start shooting at it first. Excellent. Good work. Bolt action rifle right in the skull, I think, is what they're doing. Okay. You can, uh, you can self-tend. That's, that's fine. There's a heal root to harvest. Is there more heal root around the har- Oh, there's a lot of heal root around the harvest. Oh, okay. Hey, harvest that. Good. Great. Cool. Because I can't plant it because we don't have the growing skill for it, but it is a really nice just basic medication to use that doesn't involve using the proper medicine for, like, bruises and all that, you know? It's, it's always something that irritated me a lot was when they're like, Oh my gosh, I have a bruise. Quick! To the glitter world medicine! It's like, no, it's fine. It literally can't go wrong if you don't use medicine. But it was kind of annoying having to micro that all the time. So can we make a bookshelf or something for that stuff? Because, uh... They're deteriorating kind of quick. It's already half-dead, that book. 